Alright, so welcome back. Um, now we're gonna start to create our project for the alien. So, um, to start off, we need to create a project window. Alright, so basically what it does is it creates a folder for you where you can organize all of your files so you will save your Maya scene, the images that you use, the textures that you use for this particular project. You save it under one folder and if you bring that folder around, you put it in your thumb drive and then you're working, uh, continue to working on it in school with uh, another Maya and you can actually just put it in your thumb drive and reuse it as and when you need. Um, something to take note of is let's say if you're using Maya 2016 and then after that you go somewhere else and using Maya 2015 um, It still can work but you need to make sure you delete the history on your models um, And then you will be able to or you should be able to read whatever you have Right, so first things first let us go and set the project so you go file and set project all right um, so what I have is I can go to my alien folder over here and I have alien Maya files so I can go over there set the project and create default workspace alright so if I go to this part over here the alien Maya files he has created this default workspace for me over here so next thing I go is I'll go and create file and I'll go to project window Right, so under project window, you will say that okay, your current project is called Alien Maya Files. Okay, it's located over here on my E drive, Alien, and I have this folder called Alien Maya Files. Now inside the Alien Maya Files, Maya will create for me some subfolders, which include scenes, templates, images, etc., etc. Now usually we will save our Maya scenes either the MA or MB, the Maya ASCII or binary file over here, on the scenes. Over here on the images, usually we put our textures, our UV maps, um, you can put it over here. Uh, if you want, you can even put your source images over here, you don't have to put it over here, but it's up to you. And as we go on, when we start to do animation and rigging and so on and so forth, we can start to put some of our play blast videos um, in some of these, let's say in the movie folder as well, right? So uh, this is later on. So we just have to click accept and when I go back to my Maya folder over here, under Alien Maya Files, Maya would create for me all of these subfolders inside my Maya scene. So, for example, if let's say you want to save this Maya scene, all you have to do is go to File, Save Scene As, and as you can see, it's already directed you to Alien Maya Files and the Scenes subfolder. And all you have to do is just, for example, save this as Part 1. So, let's get started with your Maya Alien project. Now, let me just go through this area over here. Again, it will look quite different in 2015 or other versions of Maya. So, this first part over here is called the panel layout where you can start to see the perspective. All right? As you can see, there's only one grid over here. means you're at the perspective mode. That's where we are right here. If I were to select this panel layout, the second one, Alright, it starts to bring me to this four panel layouts over here. Alright, usually it is my top, side, and front views. Alright, um, what you can do actually is you can start to go to panel, auto graphic, and for example, if you want this area to be top, you just declare that okay, this guy is going to be top, and then this guy over here, maybe he will be the side, and this guy over here, um, he will be the front. Alright, so we know which is which. Alright, and next thing we're going to do is we actually have to start to import our image plane over here. Now, I've already given you this image over here for you to start modeling your alien character. Now, again, just in case anyone out there don't know how to crop. Okay, so you just use your marquee tool. Go over here and drag the selected area and then after that you go to image and crop and then after that you save this inside your images over here so I have my front and my side over here ready to go alright so you do it for your front and you do it for your side as well now going back to Maya okay so we're gonna start to put in our images over here so this is side over here 
So what I can do is I go to view, image plane, and I import the image. Alright, so I'll go to my storage E, alien, and under my alien Maya files, images, I have my site over here. So I'm gonna open it, so as you can see, it's right over here. And then on my front, I'm gonna go to view, image plane, import image, and then again, I'm gonna go to my storage E, alien, alien Maya files, images, and front. Alright? Now, as you can see over here, if I go back to my perspective, now by the way, you can actually toggle around these four areas if you just press spacebar. So, for example, if you want to go to the top view, just move your mouse over there, spacebar, you're at the top view, spacebar again, you have this four panel layout. Now, that is saying that if you select this area, right? If you select this, um, the first one, you press spacebar, it won't really get you the result. Or if you press this guy over here, if you press spacebar, no, it doesn't really get you back to that four view. So you need to select this guy where you have all the four views, four panel layout. And you press spacebar over any one, you get to see it in full screen. Right, so here's your image plane. Now, first things first is you need to understand where is your orientation. Always look over here at the bottom left. It's saying that your Z, which is your front, is facing um, this way. So here is your front, but your alien is actually facing this way. So how can we fix that? Um, quite simple, we just select this alien over here. Right, as you can see over here, this alien has a few attributes. So I just have to press Ctrl A to where I get to go to the channel box. Alright, and over here on the scale, on the scale X, I can change from 1 to minus 1. Now for whichever reason, if you are numbers here, let's say you have a very funny number over here, 3.12 whatever, just change that to minus 3.12, you'll still get to um, have it to go to the other side. So, first thing first, I'll change this to minus 1. Alright, so you can see my alien is now facing uh, the correct side. Okay, now next thing I want to make sure is that they kind of line up properly. So, top of my head and the bottom of my foot here, make sure they line up properly. You don't want to go into a situation where it's like that. Alright, so then you won't be able to model properly and this won't be a very good image reference for you. Okay, so once you're done with that, you can actually just select this guy over here and you press W or select this over here and you move it outwards this way. Select this guy and you move it maybe backwards this way. Alright, so this will be the area for you to work on for you to model your alien and after that, this will be your image plane. Alright, so let us get started. What I want to do is I go to create polygon primitive and I create a cube and you can see over here my cube is in the center and um, just in case again if some of you here forget if let's say you have this thing called interactive creation on right and I go and create a cube right you will ask you to draw the flat surface first and then ask you to pull it out right so Sometimes I find that annoying, so I just turn this off. And again, make sure you're on polygon primitive, not on NURBS. We don't use NURBS, we use polygon. Um, just turn this back off, alright? And I'll turn my wireframe back off for now. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to click Mesh, and I'm going to click Smooth, alright? Now, as you can see that my cube suddenly becomes like a ball, alright? Um, it's okay. We're going to start to do the head first so I'm just gonna go to the side view over here 